Okay guys, we are on my last declutter and we're just finishing out the makeup that I have left over and like those categories that, you know, we haven't gotten to. So let's do my lip liners here. Um, this should be pretty quick because I know which ones I'm gonna keep and which ones I'm going to declutter. So I have three by Lisa Eldridge. Yes, three. And oh, let me just explain the nail here. My fake nail broke. And when I went to go take it off, it grabbed some of my skin here and my nail like came off of my skin. So it's very tender. So I don't want to put a nail back on it until it heals a little bit. So I do apologize if something like this bothers you. This is just where we're at <laughs> with my nails. So anywho, I have three by Lisa Eldridge. I love her lip liners, very comfortable and they last very well on the lips. So I have the shades Burnt Cinnamon and Muse and Affair. These are three of my favorite lipsticks from her, so I wanted to get lip liners. So for sure, keeping those. Then I have a Christian Audet. So I've got this one for Christian Audet. This is Smooches, the lip liner that Mel Thompson created with them. This one is Wood from the collaboration with Gigi Good. And I have one more oh i have nude sandals which is actually in my purse that's probably my most worn lip liner by christian audette and then i just got the lip liner from the collaboration with uh lisa lisa d and i have worn this one a few times i've just kept it in the box because um i haven't like officially talked about it on my channel and i love this one this is in the shade paradise and so I have four lip liners by Christian Audette. These are by far the longest lasting lip liners I have. Out of all my lip liners, these last the longest on the lips. I'm talking, I will eat, drink, talk, do all the things. And these lip liners are still on my lips at the end of the day. So I can't talk enough about the Christian Audette lip products. Those lip liners, like they don't disappoint. I'll put those here so you can see them. I have two Wayne Goss lip pencils and this one is in the shade deep nude and this one is in the shade medium nude so his pencils his lip pencils are actually pretty nice for them to be a traditional pencil um they're very comfortable to wear and um they're nice so i'm going to keep these i need to use them more because they are quite nice and i do like these two shades so i'm going to keep them I picked up a pack of KKW lip liners um, and these are nice. They're, you know, mini sizes, of course, Oops. and they're all, you know, various shades of nudes. The formula is actually pretty nice on these and um, I think for what I paid for, I got, oops, I got a good value, but I'm going to declutter them simply because I don't use them and I've had them for well over a year and I think I might have like use two of them um bk beauty so bk beauty just came out with these lip liners they are very nice very comfortable um they came out with four so we have sweet pea then this one is pink lady pink lady is one of my favorites then we have warm spice i've i wear warm spice a lot too <laughs> and um alter ego love alter ego i love all of them but the three that i wear the most are these three here so very comfortable I love the shades of these and they're very complimentary for any type of lipstick. So definitely keeping these. I have this one by NYX. So I love the NYX suede lip liners. It's the NYX suede matte lip liner. This is the shade Pink Glass. I'm gonna declutter it because I've had it for a while, but I highly recommend them. They are so, so good, very comfortable, and they have a very high end formula. Um, I have another one, the brown one. Where is it? I guess, did I already declutter that one? I must have. Um, I have this lip liner by Il Maquillage. This is in the shade, ooh, what shade is this? Oh, mango, I'm like, turn it around. So I really like this shade here. And their lip liners are nice. They're not overly matte. So like when, I, like, when I'm going like this, I can feel it a little bit um, and you could see it just a little bit of transfer, but they're very comfortable and um, they're nice to wear. So keeping that one. Oh, I have two more by Wayne Goss. <laughs> so 
So this one is sepia. I have worn sepia a lot, as you can see. So I, I like sepia. And I don't know why I'm only swatching his. I think it's because of the, um, the feel of them. This one I will declutter. It's in the shade Light Nude. I'm not going to use this. I have used it, but I'm, I'm not going to use it anymore. So I'll declutter this one um, because of the shade. And then I have Charlotte Tilbury and Walk of No Shame. Uh, clearly, I've loved this one. I need to sharpen it, but I love this. The, the whole Walk of No Shame, everything, she killed it. So this is a mini size. I got it in like a kit but I really like her lip liners as well. I have one more by her, yep. It's in the shade Super Size Me. So really nice shade. Oh, isn't that pretty? Charlotte Tilbury lip liners are very like smooth and soft. They almost feel like velvety, very, very nice. This is a Lip Matte Stylo by Shanta Kai. So it's almost like a big lip crayon. So I really like this shade. They're very comfortable and it feels like Gosh, it feels like a lipstick in a lip crayon uh, style. So this shade is, what is it? Snapdragon. And I have another one here. And this is in Aster. I wore Aster a lot last year. Um, I think I got these last year. Yes. Oh, look at that. Oh, I have to keep these. I have to. These are so nice. And then this last shade is called... Labellia, yes, Labellia. Look how pretty that is, gorgeous. Oh, here's the other one by NYX. So this was like my all time favorite lip liner for ages. So this is in the shade Cold Brew. Love, love, love the shade, but gonna declutter it um, because I've had this one for a while. Then I have my Mother Pat, and I love, 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 love these. So this one is in Deep Dive and Deep Void. So Deep Void is much richer. It's almost got like this um, plum undertone to it. And then Deep Dive is more chocolatey. Oh, look at them. Oh, I hope I'm in focus. Look at it. So this is deep dive no this is deep void and then this is deep dive so these are like i would say after christian audette oh this is kind of hard i would have to say after christian audette i think i love pat mcgrath but then lisa eldridge's oof i think these are for sure my top three favorite brands of lip liners i just don't know who would be number one. well i know christian audette is number one i just don't know if lisa eldridge would be two and Pat would be three. I don't know yet. But what I do know, I love those. Oh, I forgot I had, no, this, is, this is Pillow Talk. So Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner and Pillow Talk. I'm so ashy, y'all. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna keep that because I do enjoy the shade Pillow Talk. And then one more by Shantikai and this is Meadow Sweet. And let's do Meadow Sweet right here. Oh, that's so, so pretty. I forgot, I need to wear these. I forgot how good and pretty these are. Declutter too many of them, but I did a huge declutter of my lip liners last year. No, earlier this year. So the majority of the ones that I kept were the ones that I liked. Now, let's get into mascara, eyeliner. Is that it? Yeah, mascara, eyeliner, and brow gel. So I have the Chantecai. Faux Sills Longest Lash Mascara. This came in my Chantecai uh, Advent Calendar. So definitely keeping this, haven't even opened it yet. My absolute favorite lash primer is the Lancome Sills Booster. I'm telling you all, this one, game changer. Love, love, love this one. So I've purchased that now a couple times. The Fenty Beauty Brow Pencil. I have mine in the shade, <clears throat> what shade is this? Black brown, and I, I like this. I'm gonna declutter it though, because look at this. Oh, now I don't wanna come off. Oh, so now it wants to be on here. I was gonna say, I like, I, I wore this out. So then when I, I went to go use it recently and this fell off, um, but I actually really enjoy it. This is all I have, oh wait, let's see, how much do I have left? I have a decent amount left. It's a nice brow pencil, but I'm gonna declutter it because the spoolie is broken and I've, don't reach for it anymore, but I would recommend it. It was a really nice pencil. It wasn't too emollient. Let me put the declutter over here. It wasn't too emollient, 
and I liked how, I like the color as well. So my favorite brow pencil right now is this Kosas one in the shade Black Brown, so definitely keeping it. I have these um, eye bases by Chantecaille, so I have medium and light, and I like them. They're not the most like groundbreaking eye bases, but I do feel like they help to adhere your eyeshadow to the eye. So I like it. Favorite brow gel right now is by Kosas in the shade Brown Black. I love applying this on my brows first, and then I'll go in with the Kosas pencil and fill them in that way. And I, I've been loving that for like a while now. My Wayne Goss eyeliners are my favorite eyeliners of all time. My favorite is Rich Hazel. It's the brown one. Clearly, I have used this one a lot. These are so, these are bomb. They last for a really good amount of time, glide onto the eye effortlessly, and then on top of that, I can put these on my actual eyelid, blend them out, and create a whole eye look with just these because they're so creamy. So that's why I love them. Like, absolutely love them. So, and another thing I like about them is that I like how they put the shades on the bottom of the eyeliner so you can easily like see which ones you're working with. So, so we have Rich Hazel, the brown, coppers, what is this? Copper's Flame, Amethyst, Tiger's Eye, and then this is the black one in Obsidian. So, so I'm obsessed with the Wayne Goss eyeliners. Like, they are absolutely my favorite. Since this is here, one of my other favorite mascaras is this Ilia Fullest Volumizing Mascara. It adds tons of volume. So I love <clears throat> pairing these two. I get a very nice voluminous lash. So keeping this one. Another one of my favorite mascaras is the Lancome Monsoor Big. This is the waterproof version. Keeping it that. And then I have an eyeliner by Il Maquillage in this shade. What shade is this? Hero. This is a beautiful navy blue shade. Keeping that. I have the Chantecaille Brighton Eye Cajole in Nude. I'll declutter this one because I don't, I'm not a person that tends to wear like a nude eyeliner to brighten my inner corner or not, not my inner corner my lower lash line i mean yeah i'm gonna declutter it um two eyelash curlers um this one is by refer and this is by Surratt. they're both amazing i like the refer one a little bit better because it tends to curl my lashes better but the Surratt one is really really good here is a eyeliner by Surratt, and i really love the Surratt formula so this is their um, ooh, liquid eyeliner. And this eyeliner helps to make doing a wing very nicely. So this is the black one. And um, I'm not like, winged liner is not my forte. So any type, sorry, I keep moving the camera. Any type of eyeliner pin that helps me to do that well, I love it. Absolutely love the Natasha. Denona Macro Blade Liquid Liner. This is my favorite if I'm gonna be doing a winged liner. And I have a couple more of these Surratt ones. So this one is the brown version. Then I have, where's the other one? I have another one. Uh, I thought I had another one. Maybe, I don't know. I thought I had another one. Maybe it was just black and brown, but Either way, keeping the ones by Surratt because I like those. Here is the other Chantecaille eye base. This is in the light shade. I'll declutter the light shade because I only wear the meet the yeah the medium shade. This brow pencil by Charlotte Tilbury was really nice. I like this brow cheat. I got the um, brown black shade, but I'm gonna declutter it because. I, I was using it for a long time. Oh, and I also like that it is refillable. I was using it for a while and then I stopped using it because I was using another brow pencil. And when I went back to it, I was like, it's too, like, it was too intense, if that makes sense. And I don't know if it's the formula of the brow pencil or if it was the color. Um, but yeah, it just, oh, I broke the pen. But I loved how fine the tip of this brow pencil is. So I would I would definitely recommend it. I just like the Kosas one better. And there's another one that I love as well. So I'll declutter this one. Um, oh, my favorite mascara right now is the Lancome Idol. Yo, this one gives me volume and length. I love 
the shape of this wand and it's just Oh, it's so great. It's so great. I love, 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 love this mascara. So this is my number one mascara right now. And then number two would be Ilia. Um, here is the Il Maquillage Mascara in Icon. This is a really good mascara too. I used to wear this one pretty much every time I did my lashes for a while. And what I like about it is the wand as well. And it was so easy to get my lashes, um, my bottom lashes. The hairs of this comb were nice and thin, um, so it added a lot of length, and that's why I liked it. So I'll keep that one. I have this one by Makeup Forever. This is the Excessive Lash, and I don't even think I've tried this one yet, so I'll keep it. Oh, wait. This is my declutter file. Um, so I'm going to keep it because I haven't even tried it, right? No, I haven't even tried it. Ooh. Gucci's Mascara. I liked this mascara. This was a nice lengthening mascara, but I've had this one for a very long time, so let me go ahead and declutter. This is a brow pomade from Surat. Oh, these, I, I remember these, and I tried them. I didn't really see any difference with the brow pomades. So I have that brown one. No, that was black, and I think this is brown, yeah. I didn't really notice the difference when I put them put them on my brows, so I'm gonna declutter those. And then I have some samples of mascara. So this is the Chanel Lash Primer. This is actually pretty nice. Like, I I used it and I liked it. I'm gonna declutter it just because I like the long comb better. Here is a long comb um, Definisil's mascara. I don't know if I've even opened this one. Nope, I haven't opened it, so I'll keep it. I like to keep um, mascara samples for my makeup kit because then I could just use the mascara and then toss it, you know. Here is a sample of the La Volume de Chanel mascara. And this is a pretty decent one too, but I'm gonna declutter this one yet because I opened it. Um, have I opened this one yet? Nope, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes. I think I like the Legendary Lashes. It's two by Charlotte Tilbury and I can't remember which one I liked. But um, I'm going to keep that one and put it in my kit. So I picked up this mascara because Meghan Markle said this was her favorite mascara. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious Mascara. And I tried it and I thought it was nice. But I like more volume. And this is a good lengthening mascara. So I'll declutter it. I, I would prefer volume over length. And this is the Merit Mascara. Now, this Merit Mascara was very nice for like a simple, like everyday lash. Just I just want a nice little enhancement of my lash. So um, it was nice, but I'll declutter it. It wasn't my favorite. Um, I really like the Wayne Goss Waterproof Mascara. This was really, really good. I used this a lot. I think this came out around the summer. So decluttering it because I just had it for a while. The Shantikai Full Brow Perfecting Gel Tint. This was okay. I didn't really... It was okay. Nothing impressive, so I'll declutter that. Here's another um, lash primer by Chanel. I got this in my advent calendar. This was the Macy's advent calendar, the Tarte Big, Eye, Big Ego Mascara. Haven't tried it, so I'll keep that. This is my favorite... Eye base right now, the Lancome Prime It Boost It Eye Primer. Definitely keeping this. I like it because I feel like it does help to. I feel like it does help to um, adhere my eyeshadow to the lids, and it also helps to intensify the color. My other favorite brow pencil is by Il Maquillage. This is in the shade Truffles, and what I love most about this brow pencil is the shade. It is like so cool toned and just. It's amazing. I love this shade. So, and the pencil is really nice too. I don't like a pencil that's too emollient and moves all over the place. So definitely keeping that. Um, oh, I love the Merit Brow Gel. This one is good. This is really, really good. Decluttering it though, because I've had it for way too long and it's probably almost dried out too, but I would definitely purchase that one again. Well, I was sent that one. I would purchase it. Um, this is a eyeliner from, what is it? Oh, One Click. Um, this one I'll declutter. It's a, uh, like a shimmer eyeliner. And what shade is this? Temptus. 
So I'll just declutter it. I, I don't use it. It comes with like a little um, sharpener and a smudger. And here's the Chantecai. Which one is this? This is the Faux Seals Longest Lash Mascara. Have I even opened this one? I don't think I've even opened this one yet. Oh, yes, I have. Yes. Decluttering it because it looks dry as a Sahara Desert. <laughs> um, I have the Natasha Denona eyeliners. I really like these ones as well, too. So I'll keep them. This is the brown shade, black shade, and then this is like an amethyst plum shade. Burgundy, that's what it's called. So keeping that. And then, yeah, I haven't opened this one either, so I'll keep this for the kit. Um, ooh, I got this in my advent calendar. Was it Shantikai? No, I think this was from even... This might be Neiman Marcus. So, um, haven't tried it, but I'll keep it. It's a lash serum. And then here's a sample of the Lancome Sills Booster one. So I'll declutter this one because I use that one a lot. And then lastly, my brow gel by Kosas. This is just the clear version, so I'll keep it. So, excited about this. Oh, one more thing. Um, a eye cajole by Shantakai. Keeping this one is it, it this one's in the shade black and the Shantakai ones have a really nice like smooth formula They don't last as long. Sorry. I keep hitting my camera doesn't last as long on the eyes So I don't like that but it lasts okay, you know It's it's not gonna be the first one I reach for or maybe not even the second one I reach for but I will use it and I have used it But I'll keep it um, because it's not horrible and yes, so that that was good. I was I could not wait to declutter this drawer because I couldn't close it hardly. So now I'm like I got space. I can put my uh, lash curlers in here. Oh, I forgot that I put the Kosas. Now this Kosas mascara. Let me just say, I am so conflicted because. It's, it's so good. Like, if you want a good volumizing mascara, this one is it. But do y'all see how messy this is? It's all over here. Every time I open this up, even if, like, I was very careful and, like, put the wand back into the tube, I always get mascara just falling out the side. So, I'm just going to, I'm definitely decluttering it. I'm contemplating if I want to purchase it. Because this one was sent to me. Because I'm like, maybe if I purchase it, maybe this was just like a fluke in the system. But it's it's just, ugh. I can't, I can't work with this one anymore. So I am going to declutter this one. Okay, so I have this other container of like mascara, eyeliners. And I'm pretty much going to declutter everything in here except for my Wayne Goss eyeliner. This is in their navy blue shade. Um, this is called Blue Sapphire. I love this one. I knew I had another Wayne Goss. Um, oh, and here's another one. This is in the shade called Precious Opal. This is like the shimmer bronze one. Okay, all of these other products in here, I'm decluttering. So, oh, no, 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 I forgot about these Suku eyeliner. So, this one is in shade 102 and this is 103. Um, let me see. Like, I want to keep it, but I'm not going to wear this shade. So, no. I'm going to declutter that one. This one. Uh, now, this one I could wear. So, I'll keep this one. Because I actually would wear this shade. So, we'll keep this one. Um, This is the Marc Jacobs Mascara. It was very good. But when I say this is old, like, old as old as tar. Oh, look at this. Max in the shade Teddy. I love this one. Oh, oh, I got to keep, oh, maybe I should just, you know what, maybe I should just buy another one because I've had this one for a while. Okay, I'll buy another one. Um, Oh, the Milani eyeliner. Oh my God, y'all, I probably had this one for two years. Now, I have not used it in well over a year, but this shade Espresso was my favorite. Hooked on Espresso, this is a good one. The NYX um, Glitter Primer, this is really good for like those shimmers and, um, uh, those metallics that need some type of adhesive, this is a good one. I've had it though for a while, so. Like I said, I'm gonna be telling most of this. These are some other Surratt brow gels. Like I said, the formula is just okay. Oh, Anastasia Brow Definer. 
had that forever. This is a Shantikai eyeliner. I've had this for a while. I really enjoyed the Luscious Angels Eye Base. I used that one for a very long time. Um, Wonder Beauty Mile High Club Mascara. Charlotte Tilbury um, Eyeliner in Classic Brown. What are these? Oh, this is another Surat. Oh, these are the other Surat um, eyeliners. Ooh, I'll keep these. Let's do that. Put these in here. And then this was, oh my gosh, I think I've had this one going on almost three years. LA Girl. <laughs> I got this bright blue, mermaid blue eyeliner. Um, oh, I forgot about this Shantikai eyeliner in Amethyst. So I'll keep that one. No, I've had this one too long. And then I used to love the CoverGirl brow pencil in the shade Soft Brown. This is a good brow pencil from the drugstore. Okay, decluttering that. Okay, so, you know, I, I just have a few things in my collection that I've already decluttered this area, but then I was like, you know what, why did I keep this? So I'm going to just go ahead and declutter things because I don't want them. All right, so first thing was I kept the Becca. This is the under eye brightening corrector. I kept it because I was like, oh, Becca's going out of business. And I do like this, but I don't reach for this. I can't even tell you the last time I used it. So I need to declutter it. Um, the Monica Blunder Cream Foundation product. So I bought this off of the recommendation of one of you all. And when I tried it, um, first the shade is not the best. And the formula is nice, but I, I have worn this a few times, and I was just like, mm, I could, I could kind of live without it. Um, let me know your thoughts. If you have this and you really love it, tell me how you use it, how you know what prod, like what tools you use it with, because you know maybe I need to try it with something else. But I, I don't think I want to keep this. The Orsay um, setting powder, I. I I don't want this one. Um, I've tried it. It's, you know, it's one that I can give up. I have this L'Oreal Infallible Magic Loose Powder. And so I got it because like I am obsessed with the makeup artist, Sir John. I love everything that Sir John does in terms of his artistry. So he loves this setting powder. And I was like, if it's good for Sir John, it is good for me. But I have used it and I like it and it's beautiful, but I have not touched and reached for it in a very long time. So I'm going to declutter it. Oh, this Dior No Powder Powder. Absolutely a no for me. I've tried it recently, and this is like, I don't know why anybody likes it. It, it just does not work for me. It, does, it doesn't do it for me. <laughs> so I'm decluttering that. Um, I recently, was it yesterday? I used this Rare Beauty Concealer, and I like the concealer, but the shade... 370W is too deep for my complexion to use it as like an under eye concealer. So I'm gonna declutter this shade and then pick up a lighter shade. This Merit Foundation Stick. So it's nice and it's beautiful and so creamy. Look at that, it is stunning. But I can't use it all over my, oh, this is really nice though. Hmm. But it doesn't work on my face as a foundation because it's too light. And then the shade beneath it is too deep for my complexion. So I was keeping it because I was like, I could use it as a concealer. But I want to use this as a foundation. And it doesn't work for me as a foundation. So I'm going to declutter it. And I'm hoping Merit comes out with deeper shades. Like with more shades. I should say more shades. Because this formula is so creamy and smooth. And it makes for a beautiful all over the face product. I just can't use it all over my face. Okay. These Melanie Mills um, body highlighters, I've had these for years, like potentially like four years. Although they're a product that will still work, I don't reach for them anymore, so I'm going to declutter them. Yves Saint Laurent, this is their um, Touche Eclat pen. I love, love, love this pen. Like, love it but i want a lighter shade so i have the shade five and i wore it yesterday i think it was yesterday i put it on and i was like you know what this is pretty much like my skin it's not as much of a oh, y'all can't see that it's not as much of a brightening shade as i want it to be so i'm gonna declutter this one yeah there we go i'm gonna declutter this one and get a lighter shade coming over here to foundations i think i'm good on found i think i'm good on foundations 
Uh, actually, no. I want to declutter this glowish skin tint. I I don't really like it. It's just a little too much for me, so I want to declutter that one. Um, oh, this is another one I want to declutter. The um, Neo Nude Skin Tint. This one is nice. I remember when it came out, um, I liked it, but I just... I have other skin tints that I like more. So the shade that I use is 8.75. The brand sent me shade seven. Shade seven is too light. Um, so I'm gonna declutter both of these. I think it's time to declutter the Fenty setting powder because this one is nice. Like if I miss it, I'll repurchase it. Cause number one, I have had this one for a couple of years, but I have not reached for it in a very long time. So I'm gonna declutter it. And if I end up missing it, I will repurchase it. It's a great setting powder. So um, I'm not saying it's not good. I just don't reach for it anymore. I think that might be it. There was just a couple of things that I that I saw and I was just like, you know, I don't think we need these things anymore. Um, Yeah, guys, that is it. So thank you so much for watching. We could do a nice little panoramic of the rest of my collection. So these are my blush and bronzers, the first half of them. Here's the second half of my blush and bronzer. So we've got them nice and decluttered over here. And then these are my palettes. This area looks so much better. I'm like, oh, looks so, so, so much better. We gotta come over here to my, my drawer. So <laughs> this is my drawer where I keep like my foundations, primers, illuminators, things like that. Concealers that I like to use like regularly. So those are here. Um, blush, bronzers, and highlights are here, and I'm very happy with what I have left. And we have eyeshadow palettes in this particular drawer. And then lastly, we have oh, my lipsticks. And I am very, very, very happy with what I have left. So, so thank you guys for joining me in all of my declutters. I know I look very at home and relaxed right now. <laughs> um, but I have had such a great time going through my makeup and decluttering it and keeping those products that are near and dear to me. So thank you so much for watching all of my declutters and thank you for watching this video. And if you've made it to this point in the video and you have yet to subscribe to my channel, I would love for you to consider subscribing and joining the Glam Girl Squad. And guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye guys.